1.9 million Palestinians in Israel who vote, they're elected legislatures, they're represented in the judiciary, and they can practice freedom of religion. It's the only place in the Middle East where you can, they guarantee protection for gays. There was a, um, uh, a pride parade uh, two weeks ago in Israel with 150,000 people in Israel, in Tel Aviv, and in Jerusalem. At the same time in Iran, they were hanging gays from cherry pickers. Um, it's the only place where women have full rights. It's the, you know, it's the only place where Palestinians can legally complain about their government with no fear of reprisals. So oh, anywhere else, that, including the Palestine, including the West Bank. You know, if you complain about the extremely corrupt uh, governments in the West Bank or Gaza, you, you know, you risk your life and you risk and you'll face torture and death. So, um, you know, the, 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 the judiciary in Israel is unique in the world. Um, it's also said you can't pressure people using putting pressure on their family. You can't pressure terrorists in that way at all. Um, it, uh, it, I have a feeling that happens all the time, though. <laughs> I, don't, I mean, again, well, I'm may, not an, you can go to jail for it, but I'm not you're right. But I'm not a uh, you know, I'm not an expert. You, yeah, I mean, this is so I do want to just let people know almost everything that RFK Jr. is saying is very particular propaganda that is fed from the Israeli government to Israeli Jewish citizens, and it's part of why there is such kind of amped up animosity and tensions and hostilities between the Jews and the Palestinians within all of Palestine, um, not just in areas of the West Bank or the Gaza Strip or anything like that. I mean, this is just kind of a, a an encompassing issue where Israelis are being extremely racist and prejudicial towards Palestinians. And that's why I, I find what he's saying here to just be it's it's very dangerous rhetoric in my opinion because it's it's pushing such propaganda that there is very little to support what he is saying and it's actually a lot of projection this is a lot of what the israeli government does to palestinians yeah. palestinians do suffer from a lot of pressure from the israelis that's both israeli citizens and the israeli military and they use this term terrorist to say, oh, this Palestinian 15-year-old boy is a terrorist. And because he lives in this home with his entire family, we can now say that that home, that that abode is a, a form of terrorist organizing because they want, us, they want to label this one particular Palestinian as a terrorist. And what yep. do we know about labels? Labels are extremely convenient at getting people to cancel and to censor. That's what yeah. happens here in this country. That's They're the doing... protocol. Yeah, that's the that's how the CIA works. That's how the State Department works. Exactly. You have to, and that is exactly and... how the Israeli yeah. military works towards Palestinians. Yeah. They use it's, it's so the much people. pressure. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's virtually the, the, the same, same people, people doing the same things. Like, you same know what training. I mean? Like, like our, we're, we're training, we're, we're training the cop, the, the Israeli cops and, 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 you know, like vice versa. So exactly. like, it, it's, it's, it's really, you know, like it's a mirror image uh, you, and if you start to look at this and you look at how things happen in the United States and you can <clears> say, <throat> wow, that's kind of reflective of that too. And that, that projection certain races are having that, you know, certain ethnicities have that same thing happen to them. That, and yeah. you can see that mirror image reflection. That same projection that she was just mentioning that Kennedy is doing as uh, using this rhetoric and saying these these formalized narrative lines like stuff that's easily debunked. Mm -hmm. he just, he's just spewing this narrative because that's how they do it. That's how that's what's effective. That's what wins elections. That's that's how you convince all the dumbasses to get in line and say, yeah, well, you know, mm -hmm. Bobby Kennedy said this, so it must be true. You know, I understand and, why he's, you know. And then they can, because it is nonsense. propaganda, they can go and do a Google search of those talking points and they can re get results of those talking exactly. points. Exactly. So it like cements in mm -hmm. what RFK Jr. Built -in is affirmation saying. and it, opposition. You got to have both sides yeah, of it. It, may, it creates this exact narrative and they this is how they do it this is exactly how they do it 
So it I is. know we're not even very far in. We have to stop mm-hmm. because it's just it's constant. The whole interview. I was like so mad when I was watching it. I was like, well, he's just he's what? lying so much, and and mm-hmm. the way that he's the the rhetoric that he has around Iran is so Israeli lobby propaganda because they really want to push that but i do also want to say just before we get going i'm sorry we have to pause so many times but when he's talking about um that that in israel you know that like gays and trans people have the most rights and stuff like that that is actually steadily becoming untrue because of the judicial overhaul that's happening in israel which is actually something that i did cover um, on my channel a, a few months ago because there have been several protests from Israeli citizens. These are Israeli Jewish citizens that do not like Netanyahu's far right wing government because they are afraid of how it's going to affect these more like liberal policies that do help and support and promote gay rights and trans rights. And they're afraid that the far right wing government is going to start moving backwards, which is actually, I think in some areas is already starting to be seen. So I saw He's, people getting hurt too at, at pride oh, events. Yeah. They're like, they're experiencing the violence that IDF soldiers give to Palestinians every day at these protests, which I can't help but be like, it's a tiny bit of karma, but at least now you're seeing what it's like to be a Palestinian. Yeah, I mean, it, it does. It feel it like when I saw it, I was like, and I'm like, I I remember seeing it like just like a couple. I would say within the last couple of weeks, I was mm-hmm. like, I'm like, wow, are they harming? And I didn't know if it was just because they were Palestinian people or Israeli. People, you know what I mean? Like I didn't know enough to like clarify it myself. But like looking back, I'm like, yeah, they'll. I know what they were talking about when they're saying like these pride events. I'm like, I'm pretty sure I saw people getting injured at pride events in yeah. that in that in that region. So like, I, I was I was curious if I w- if what I was seeing was true or if it was propaganda. So you know, you never. I, I don't I don't know like until I can you know get some kind some some kind of information verified when it comes to a lot mm-hmm. of it just because I mean we know in our own country how much propaganda we are you know we are surrounded <laughs> you have to you have to just presume that you know eighty five percent or more is going to be a lie exactly. or some kind of spin on the truth.